Hi guys, welcome back to Magic Wonders channel. You are watching episode 6 of my journey in Egypt. You can find the previous videos on my channel and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out the next one. We have just arrived in the city in Upper Egypt called Aswan. The video today will show you the extra two excursions that you can do other than the ones included in the Luxury Nile Cruise package. I highly recommend you to do these two. These are the visits to the beautiful Nubian village and the grand temples of Abu Simbel. The Nubian village excursion takes around 3 to 4 hours, so you can do that in one afternoon with absolutely no problem. But first, I'd like to show you our visit to Abu Simbel the day before. To get to the temples, we must go by road through the Sahara Desert for 3 hours um, each way towards the border with Sudan. Abu Simbel temples are two gigantic rock temples. From the evidence, we believe that the temple complex was built in around 1200 BC. And there are two um, temples, the big one and the smaller ones. Where the big one is dedicated to Francis II himself, while the other um, smaller ones is dedicated to his beloved wife, um, Nefertari. When they discovered the temple, it was um, submerged. Um, under the mud, so they had to relocate um, the whole temple. Yeah, the whole temple. Yeah. In the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> you can see that these, these temples were carved into the mountain. They didn't just move um, the parts of the temple, but they moved the whole damn mountain. <laughs> The temple was rediscovered in year 1813 and took them more than 4 years until they could dig out an entry to the temple. Are we gonna go in um, the smaller temple first? The small temple is dedicated to the goddess Hathor. It is only 100 meters from the great temple. The colossi on the facade are 10 meters high and they represent the king and his queen. One of the uniqueness of this facade is that the king and his queen were depicted in the same size, which almost never occurred in the ancient Egyptian art. We can also see statues of their prince and princesses. Inside planning is the same as the great temple but in a smaller scale. The wall arts are of Queen Nefertari with gods and mainly the goddess Hathor. The Great Temple of Abu Simbel is one of the most beautiful temples in Egypt. The facade here is 33 meters high and almost 40 meters wide. We can see the baboons worshipping the rising sun at the top here. These colossi are 20 meters high, each representing the king himself, sitting on a throne but in different stages in his life. The middle one is of the god Ra, or the sun god, the god that this temple was dedicated for. Most of the carvings near the entrance depicting the king ward keeping his god rod. You can buy an extra ticket to take photos inside. The temple is situated in a mountain facing Lake Nasser, so the view is super great. So if you want to hang around the place, admiring these grand temples and as well as the landscapes, there are a lot of benches for you to do that. But it gets pretty hot most of the time because you are pretty much in a desert area so don't forget your sunscreen. Back to 
our boat on the way to the Nubian village. So along the Na River in Aswan area, it's very clean and very clear water. boat will bring us from Aswan city to the village. The ride takes around 30 minutes and you will love the scenery along the way. You will see villages, the small kids that randomly swimming to greet you, the old mosque and um, the local sacred places, and even some high peaks of Sahara Desert. You will know you are arriving the village when you start seeing a lot of dome roof colorful houses. There are many smaller villages inside the whole village that you can wander around to see their artistic skills. One unique thing about Nubian story is their choice of the pets. They love to have crocodiles as pets. You see stuffed um, crocodiles everywhere. And some even put on their main gate of the house. According to our tour guide, it is a celebration and to show respect to their pets and to keep them with the family even after their passing. You can explore the village by a camel or by walking. It is heaps and heaps of walking, but it's very fun. And you can rest at a local coffee house if you're tired. And you can also enjoy the local culinary. This is Nubian bread with assorted dips. One is made from goat cheese, second one is sugar cane syrup. And the last one, they call it Nubian Sneakers. It is super sweet. Notice the dome roof. That's also a distinctive Nubian architecture too. Artsy people will love this village. Colorful and pastel buildings everywhere. We are actually going to a special place to swim. If you are curious, the water was freezing cold. I mean, we survived, but it was really cold. But the water was super clear, so it was a great refreshing thing to do after a long day of um, exploring. I highly recommend you guys to add these two excursions if you still have some spare time in your schedule in the Upper Egypt. Over here, you can enjoy the Nile River by getting on a felucca, which is a, a traditional Egyptian um, sailboat. You can go as a group or as a couple to enjoy the sunset or just a normal night um, Nile River experience as well. It was a little bit sad to leave this place. Um, we wish we could stay longer. My journey continues in Muscat, Oman. This will be my first time in the Middle East. I had the experience, guys. It was super overwhelming in a good way. I cannot wait to show you guys, so stay tuned. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe now so you won't miss out. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next video.